Welcome back to News 13. Now it's Thursday, meaning it's time for another installment of On Your Side. Guess what? Football season is here. We live in football country. A lot of us probably going to be going to some games this season. And of course, the scammers, they know that. Nicole Codero is here from the Better Business Bureau. Nicole, we don't go to the box office anymore. Right. We're not going to places to buy these tickets. We buy everything like for so much. We do it all online. That's true. Even some stadiums, and this goes for um, concert venues too, mm -hmm. they really only accept digital tickets. Yep. And so it just really does open the door for scammers to get in there. Now, uh, yeah, so I know um, there are actual website ways to tell yeah. if a website that is selling these tickets is real or fake. Ticketmaster, we know you're going to be okay if you go to Ticketmaster, mm -hmm. but there's other websites out there that are selling tickets too. True. And, you know, scammers are actually really good at creating lookalike websites. Mm -hmm. It looks just like Ticketmaster, but something to always check when you're buying anything online is that the website has a lock icon in the URL and it has HTTPS before the website name. The S means it's secure. You really want to check that. It takes a second. Just before you put your payment information in, make sure that it's a safe website. And, um, you know, it's, it's, always, it's always something that you need to yeah. look out for anytime you're that's buying. What, that's what those things are, like the, the lock mm -hmm. thing in the... What's it called? It, it, that, it, that means it's secure. Those are good uh, ways to tell, okay. but you know you really have to just do your diligence. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, did, you have, did you leery of eBay? Was that something? I right. Saw too? So when you're resell buying a reselling ticket, yeah, you really have to be careful because there are you have to read the fine print number one. Make sure it takes a second. Make sure that the row and seat number actually exists in the stadium. Oh, it sounds yeah. like common sense, but make sure okay. just check that you're not getting scammed. If it doesn't exist, that's probably not a good thing to go with. <laughs> and then so. um, another thing with reselling is if they ask you to pay via Venmo, yep. PayPal, like a person-to-person -person wallet app, that is actually going to be a red flag. Okay. You really should only buy a resell ticket um, if you know the person using that app. So. Makes sense. And finally, briefly, we can't make it to every game, but also a lot of our favorite teams aren't going to be on air all the time. So you do see a lot of streaming services out there. How do you know when that's real or fake? Right. So we've actually come across a scam that people have reported where um, someone will be posting on social media a link to, uh, like, click here to stream this game out yeah. of state or even a local football game, like mm -hmm. a high school football game. Um, turns out you get taken to a website and it asks for your credit card information or personal information, and you pay them, but you don't get to stream anything because that link is fake. And so really only go to official websites to buy okay. the tickets, to stream um, anything that has to do with football. Go to the official sites. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, Nicole, thanks for coming on. Thank you. See you next week. Yes. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back.